bored of us already. Oh, what's up, big dog? What's up? I'm good, man. How are you? Uh, usually it's you who gets the call to step in last minute. So how is it being on the other side of that equation? It's kind of it's kind of funny, you know. It's kind of cool. It's like because I know what what people go through because I've been on that side so many times. So it's kind of like a oh yeah, I know what you're going through. Yeah, yeah, yep. I had to do all that. I got to cut weight real fast, and I got to do that too. Yeah, yeah, I had to do that. So it's kind of cool. But at the same time, I'm glad that he ste somebody stepped up, you know. I was kind of like, damn, I got certain goals, you know, I want to be at. And I ain't trying to miss my checks. Yeah. How, uh, we'll start at the beginning. How disappointing was it when Dan had to pull out? I know that's a fight you've wanted for a while. That's a fight he's wanted for a while. How annoying or frustrating was it to hear that that fight had to be scrapped? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It really sucks, you know, because um, I have fight a night on it. But I think me and Jalen going to do our thing, too. My most important thing is setting out classics, you know, stuff that can be watched, something that's timeless, you know, um, and keep getting those fight of the night awards. Yeah. So that's where I was really at with it, but I think Jalen's going to do the same thing. Yeah. He's a, good, he's a good fighter, man. He comes in, he always brings it as well. His fight with Dan last time was a good scrap, both back and forth. What are you expecting from him on fight night? Are you, are you expecting him that even though he's got short notice, he's still going to bring it? Oh, uh, yeah, of course, of course. Especially in that first round or two, he comes really hard, you know. Um, so I'm expecting that from him, you know. Be careful. Make sure I don't make any mistakes. And then I'm going to go down and try to take his head off. As the guy who always steps up on these occasions, how pissed off would you have been if none of the other lightweights had stepped in to fight you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would have been pissed. Yeah, I would have been pissed. But apparently everybody was, there was like a few guys sticking their hands up. I didn't even see Jalen stick his hand up, which was kind of crazy. It was that, like, I saw, like, five other guys say, pick me, pick me. And they picked the guy that he didn't even stick his hand up. But I think the UFC got their own ideas of what they wanted to do. Yeah. Where are you expecting with a win after this? Are you expecting them to try and rebook that Dan fight, or do you think maybe this will push you up a little bit further? Man, he just broke his arm again. I don't know. He didn't take a good rest. I'll probably be busy. I'll probably fight twice before he even comes back. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? I don't, I don't pay attention to none of that, brother. I pay attention to the money. I pay attention to, I pay attention to uh, setting my, uh, my goals. And whatever else happens between that, whatever happens. Last one for me. I know exactly what you live for in this game is to put on exciting fights. How excited are you to put on a, a big one in front of this Austin crowd? Man, Austin, uh, it's the first time in Austin. But uh, last two times I did Texas... I got good reception here, you know. I felt like I felt the love. It was the first time I felt like uh, important, where the crowd was kind of chanting for me and stuff, and and it and it kind of gave me that first time I felt like, man, this is what I work for. So this one for me here being in Texas is special to me. Like I really want to put my heart out there on this fight, you know. So that's what it is for me. Texas is going down. Hey, Bobby. How you doing, sir? I'm just curious if you could let us in on a little bit of the details about those goals that you, you have laid out for yourself. Uh, goals? Goals? Uh, buy all my kids' homes, make sure they're paid off. Um, I thought I was going to drop five classics back to back to back, and, and you guys have been seeing them right, at, right, at, right as I've been doing them. So... Those are my goals, make sure I'm dropping classics. I keep getting these awards that, that lets me know, okay, I'm lining up right where I need to be. Those are my goals. Gotcha. Is there any disappointment that this fight isn't five rounds like the one with, with Dan was scheduled to be? Um, not really. Like, who else wants to do their job for longer, you know? You want to get off work early. You don't want to get off work late. Um, I like the aspect of it, like it's to the death type of thing, you know, and when we find the right fights and it's the main event, I'm down, you know. But uh, shit happens. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. And uh, in, in terms of, like, your fighting career and, like you said, putting out these classics, right? Yeah. There's, there's a big milestone event coming up, UFC 300. Do you want to be on that card if possible? Yeah, yeah. That'd be an honor. That'd be an honor. I was hoping to splash this one out, take a little break, and be ready for 300, like, I don't, guys, I didn't fought five times in a 12-month span. Uh, I don't know many fighters doing that right now, especially at my age, to have as many fights as I do or as many miles as I have on my body. So I'm just really trying to do something different, trying to really put out that 
next level of fighting show guys that the younger guys, hey, this is how, how I really go, you know, especially if you want to make some money because this sport, you'll be in, you'll be out. We got to get our money out here. Actually, off the back of that, Paddy Pimlet said if he beats Tony Ferguson, he would like you at UFC 300. He really said that? I believe he I, did. I, somebody sent me that, but like, you know, with Instagram and stuff, you'd be like, man, did they make this up? Did they just put the words in? I don't be knowing like who telling the truth or not. I'm like, bro, there's no way he talked. He called me out. Paddy, no, that's a bad fight for him. He don't want that. He just talking, okay? He just talking. Until he start walking, get through Tony and then we'll talk, you know? We'll talk after that, but... Patty don't want that. It'd be bad. It'd be a bad fight for him. How do you think that fight with him and Tony goes? Um, I, hmm, I feel like Tony gonna part pulling something out closer to the third. You know, closer to that second, third round. He pushes a good pace. Um, comes really hard. Can take good shots. And so, if Patty don't get him on the ground, try to do some jujitsu. I see Tony getting him. Tony gets pretty good too. Bobby, you're always down the swing in Bane. You know, that's one thing that makes you a thrilling fighter. As far as preparation for a new opponent on Jalen Turner, does that switch your mindset at all, or do you have the same mindset going into every single fight? Uh, nah, bro, nah. I'm a contract killer, you know? Um, I'm sitting at home. They send a contract. They say, bring, him, bring, bring out the head. I cut it off put the hell on the table and say, hey, pay me my check, you know? It doesn't matter who it is, what it is. It, like, all this, that's all the other stuff. Like, uh, like I said, it's the goals. Are you hitting your goals? Every, every goal I, I put, I'm trying to hit. And so I don't even think about fighters or, or any of that stuff, game plans and blah, blah, blah. I'm here to take his head off. That's it. And if you do emerge victorious, is there someone you, you specifically want to call out? Is there someone that you want a taste of? Do I want to call somebody out? No, no, no. Uh, I'm that guy, and I'm going to keep trying to prove it. Uh, wait until we get to Texas. If you're there, watch and see who they're going for the most and see who gets the most impact. I'm going to have the biggest splash. I promise you that. And so I'm that guy. Um, they're going to be calling me, just like call, I mean, calling for me. Just like when this, when this opponent fell out, I knew there was going to be guys that stuck their hand up because just to, just to say they did that dance with me, you know, just to say they did that dance. A lot of cats want to be able to do that dance and say, I did it with him. And so I'm that guy. I'm not calling nobody out. They're calling me. Do you see Jalen coming out with, like, a specific game plan against you? I mean, you like the swing and bang. So specific you... game plan against me? I never even thought about that. To be honest, I'm like, uh, he might try this at the most. But the problem is I, I just keep switching it up. Like, if you watch all my fights, I don't fight the same. I'll do this, I'll do this. And, and like, some people are like, yeah, you, you're a striker. You're going to come out and strike. You're going to come out and bang. But it's like, first of all, that's what the crowd wants to see. But there's all these other different little alterations I did on each fighter and how I fought that fighter. So I'll figure out when we get out there on our reads. I'll make my reads on them and go, oh, you trying to do this? Oh, you want to do that? All right, now I'm going to fight you like this. Any uh, King Green prediction? No, I don't got no predictions. I, I, I let God be the, the predictor. I just want to go in there and make sure that it's, uh, it's a solid fight. You know, that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing, my job part or my end is, hey, I'm bringing a great fight. However it goes is however it goes. I'm in the moment, it's like truly being in the moment and more so than like, oh, I was planning for it to go here or there. No, I'm just in the moment. It's going to happen the way it happens. Yeah, one more, Bobby. Um, I think I saw an interview you did with uh, DC and RC. You talked about like how you feel like you're kind of like a rapper when you're out there. You're performing, <laughs> right? So it kind of you know piqued my interest. Like, how much thought do you put into like all of the things that you do, like when you're on the way to the octagon? Everything, bro. Everything from the from the from the point moment I get from behind the curtains till I leave back behind the curtains. It's a show. You know, and so I'm out there trying to pump the crowd up. I'm out there vibing. I'm going to throw my jersey out to the people. You know, I'm going to get them up on their feet before we even get to the fight. The jump in the cage, the water spit, it's all entertainment. It's all a show up until the point where I'm like, hey, I'm all right, I'm out of here, guys. I sign a couple autographs, touch a couple hands, I'm out. It's, it's, it's like a, it's a, it's a whole entertainment show the whole way through. I don't even call it a fight. I'm like, I got a show. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, I got a show. 
I'm going to go out here and perform, you know, not even thinking about it like a fight. You know, fighting is just like, it's just a, a show to me. Here's a random one for you. What do you make of his, like, obsession with tarantulas? I remember sometimes he's come out to weigh in holding a tarantula. If he came out to face off with you and, like, tried to give you a tarantula, how would you react? Hmm. Hmm. That'd be a first. We're from the same little background. We're both from the IE, you know? I heard he said something about L.A. or something, somebody said, but he from the same city I'm from, uh, San Bernardino. So there's two San Bernardino niggas, and he know what time it is. Like, I respect the kid, but hey, hey, stay in your lane, bro, bro. You know, don't, don't play with me like that. We good? Oh, let's go.